viewers, Pop and Playboys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, man, it's gonna be a little different. As you guys can see, this is definitely not the background where I'm usually at at my house. Um, today's video, man, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to drive manual. So I got a lot of requests and a lot of DMs asking me to do a video like this. And if this video does good, I will drop another video explaining to you how to like rev match, downshift, and then I'll drop another video explaining to you how to power shift, shift faster, um, like simple things just to, you know, make driving manual fun. So uh, yeah, man, let's jump into the video. It's really simple, quick little video. Well, I can make it longer, but I'm not because it's really simple to drive manual. It's really not that hard. But yeah, man, let's jump in the car. All right, so the first thing you should do when you're driving manual is obviously get comfortable in your seat. If you don't get comfortable in your seat and you're driving, you're gonna cause some type of harm to the car or to somebody else driving. I don't know, you're gonna do something bad. Feel comfortable when you're driving. Adjust your seat, make sure your feet can touch the pedals. Don't put the seat all the way back that you can't see what's in front of you. After you get comfortable in the car, what you wanna do now is fill out the clutch. See if the clutch is a heavy clutch or is a light clutch. You'll be able to tell the difference by how much you know pressure you have to push it down there. After you do that, fill out your trans. So my transmission, all the gears are pretty close. So this is first right here. And plus I have a short shifter installed. This is first right here. From first, straight down to second. From, from second, you wanna go to third. Third is right in the middle, so that's third. Fourth is straight down from third, and it's the same thing like you're going to first to, uh, I mean, the same thing like you're going to second to third. So this is fourth, now you wanna go up to the right, that's fifth. You go all the way down, that's sixth. And if you go all the way to the right and down, that's uh, reverse. And in some cars, it's different. Some cars you have to push down and then go. It'll go into uh, reverse. Some cars, it's all the way to the left and up. Some cars is all the way to the right and up. It's different from, you know, different cars. But yeah, that's how my car is. So after you get used to how everything feels, you get used to how the gearbox feels and you get used to how tough the clutch is, what you wanna do now is put the clutch in and start the car. Make sure it's not in any type of gear because as soon as you let go of that clutch and the car is on, it's gonna launch you forward. So put the clutch in, make sure it's not in gear, start the car. And there you go, you just started a manual car. Wow. Also, make sure your e-brakes up when you start in the car, because if it's down and you start the car and you're on like a hill or a slope or something that's, you know, is gonna cause you to roll, you will roll. And that's that's gonna scare the crap out of you. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna put the e-brake down. Right now I'm on a flat surface, so I'm not rolling anywhere. Put the e-brake down, put the clutch in, put it in first gear. And what you're gonna do is gonna slowly let go of the clutch and you should feel the car start moving. And you hear the car die, sound like it's dying. And you'll start slowly moving, and the next thing you do, you add a slowly, slowly add gas. And you'll start moving. So first gear is usually the hardest gear to do, and that's because you actually have to get the car moving. Once you get the car moving, it's really simple after that. Really, really simple. So I'm gonna stop right here, and uh, I'm show you guys the outside view. So as you guys seen in the last clip, it was really simple. The car rolled really smooth. There was no jerking of the car either. That's because all I did was add slightly gas and let go of the clutch early. Well, not early, but slowly let go of the clutch. A lot of people, what they will do, they'll add gas, they'll like add too much gas and let go of the clutch and then the car will just <clears throat> Or they'll add too much gas, let go of the clutch and when they're let go in the clutch, they're slowly let go in the gas and the car starts jerking. So. To even that out you just want to make sure it's 50 50 on both sides and then you should be fine so that's literally the hardest part about driving stig is just to get the car moving after that everything else is pretty simple and easy Nigga, uh all right guys so i switched to the gopro so i can show you guys my feet and also i have my camera up here to show you guys my hand as i'm shifting so you guys could get a sense of you know the coordination and sync and all that stuff so don't really know how i'm gonna do this because if i'm gonna be using one hand to record and i'm gonna be using the other hand to shift what hell am I gonna be using to steer? Stupid. All right guys, so I got the foot cam set up. Got the other cam right here, the hand cam set up. So yeah, man, let's get started. So first thing you wanna do, well, my e-brake's already down. Most of you guys probably gonna have the e-brake up. So what you're gonna do once you get in the car is obviously put the e-brake down. If you're on a hill and stuff, don't put the e-brake down because then you're gonna start rolling backwards. But uh, put the e-brake down, put the clutch in, make sure you're not in gear, then start the car. 
So you know you're not in gear when you can go like this. Because when you go in first gear, you can't do that. Second gear, you can't do that. Neutral, you can go crazy with it. So that's how you know you're not in gear. Then once you're not in gear, you can let go of the clutch and you should be fine. You shouldn't be moving, the car shouldn't be jerking, all that. So next thing you want to do next after that is obviously put the clutch in. Put the clutch in, put it in first gear. And when you do that, slowly let go of the clutch and add gas. And as you can see, I'm moving. So as you add gas, you want to go in second gear. So let me get up to speed to so go in second. So as I'm adding gas, I can go in second right now. So clutch in, second. You don't have to add gas when you put it in second. It is going to jerk a little bit, but if you do add gas, it does make it a little bit smoother. But as a rookie, don't add gas because you're just going to, I don't know, probably like, I don't know, do something crazy. So there you go. So now we're coming up to the stop sign. All I'm going to do is clutch in, brake, make sure I'm in neutral. And that's how you go to a stop. Now when you get it rolling again, all you got to do is clutch in, first gear, gas, slowly let go of the clutch, and you're moving again. Simple as that. So now I'm going second again, clutch in, second. Driving again, driving again, clutch in, third gas simple very simple process so i'm gonna see if i can get in fourth gear show you guys how fourth gear is it's the same thing get a little speed fourth gear simple don't have to add gas when you're going in any gear except first all right guys so i showed you how to shift i showed you guys when you should shift and i also showed you guys my feet and my hands as i'm shifting so now i'm gonna talk about how you guys go in reverse and how reverse and first gear is totally different so uh let's jump into it all right guys so to go in reverse all you gotta do is clutch in all the way to the right and down and that could be different to different cars but yeah that's how my car is and uh reverse is a little bit faster than uh first gear so as you're letting go of the clutch you should already start moving and all you have to do is add gas but in but in reverse you move twice as fast as you would if you was in first gear so uh you gotta be careful with that because you don't want to back into somebody's car or just back up too fast and hit something that you're not trying to hit all right guys so that's basically it on how to drive manual i try to make it simple as i can Obviously, if you don't have a manual car, you won't be able to drive manual every day. But when you get your own manual car, you'll be able to learn. So yeah, man, it's pretty simple, but obviously you need to practice it. If you don't practice it, you're not gonna get better at it. All right, guys, so this is where I'm gonna end off the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Also, if this video gets to 100 likes, I'll drop another video explaining how to rev match and downshift. But that's only if it gets to 100 likes. But yeah, man, this is gonna be it for the video. Follow your boy on Instagram, my underscore got the soda, and your boy is out. Peace.